Hello, hello. This is Edgar from Cremona, Italy. And now I'm here in my virtual Cremona show. And we are going here from the main square of Cremona. And we just go in, the, go in the opposite behind me between the yellow palace and here. This is Via Solferino. And just exactly on the other side of the square here, just have to turn around once. Here, this is the cathedral with a very, 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 very high tower, okay, of Cremona. And this here is the bar where Giorgio is drinking the coffee with Stefano Trabucchi every day. And then we just walk around. This is the Batistero. This is the bar. And over there at the corner, that's the shop of Giorgio Grisales. And this is actually the shop where even me, I worked with Giorgio for 10 years, okay? And you are saying, how is it possible that we did not talk about this earlier, but today is the great day that we are talking about this. Giorgio is originally from Colombia and uh, started to play the... the viola i believe and then he came to europe and from the very first moment he was extremely um, full with energy to work as much as possible to make the best out of his situation and to become famous and wealthy and he is extremely looking on aesthetics and things like this and this is the shop. At the time I was working here, there was actually also my name on. And we're talking here about between 1994 to 90, uh, 2004. And then 2004, actually, we were working inside this shop, 11 people. And you can imagine that room became very tight and uh, precious. So then actually I understood that it's time to open the shop. There was no chance to make the shop bigger. It's a, a long shop which goes all the way to the backside, but uh, it's, it, it's limited in space. Now I have a much bigger shop and uh, I think also Giorgio is, is much better. And then also his nephew, Ricardo, came and is also very busy, he has already a family with five children and so they're all very, very well integrated. And uh, Giorgio, beside of being a very good maker, is also very good in, uh, in uh, relation with uh, people and is very good in uh, having activities. So he's the president as well of the, of the consortium of violin maker Antonio Stradivari. And I'm also uh, one of the directors uh, uh, in the board of directors together with him and uh, I think together we, we are giving back to, uh, to our uh, Cremona making here to all the makers a lot of, of what actually the, the town itself uh, gave to us and uh, here you see his showroom is really nice he's always uh, taking care of this kind of small details He's, uh, he likes a lot the, the, the violin making uh, beginning of this century from Italy. Here we have all the, and then also the UNESCO. I also have this one. And uh, Trabuki was talking about this. It, it's unique that so many people work together. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. I will put it down below in the, in the video. Okay. And here is his bell and let's see if Giorgio is opening up. Okay. La la la. Pronto, pronto. Con o senza mascara? Senza, senza maschera. Senza maschera. Mi puoi misurare la temperatura. Così siamo belli a posto. Ciao bello. Muove. Funziona così? Wow, you are perfect. I'm perfect? Yes. Very good. So the first, hold on, hold on. We have here a microphone, which gives you 
Okay. I just do this, what? Your foot. <laughs> El tuo piede. Il mio piede? Sac, sac, sac. Okay, um, um, this is the first treatment of my shoes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. I won't touch anything. Mm-hmm. Va bene che parliamo inglese? Sì. Sì, è yes, ok. Yeah, maybe. Prova, prova a metterlo un pochettino più sul collo. Ok. Un po più su. Così è già molto meglio. Molto bene. Tu ti Hello, puoi okay. muovere come vuoi, io poi dopo seguo. Okay? ok. Oggi ho preso il cavalletto in mano, così non è così shaky. E ho visto che gli altri video erano molto... Uh, Mm? Non li ho ancora visti, ma ok. Wow, this okay. is very nice here, the first room. Can you, you see all these paintings and art? Giorgio loves all this artwork. Yes, yeah, this is really a fantastic. Really nice. This is the, the mass. I love this one. This is wood? This is wood. This is from the river of Cremona. Wow. You know, it's the, I, I think it's before the time of Stradivarius. Really? Yeah. It's, uh, it's lived in the river for a long time and actually becoming a piece of art and it's fantastic, you know, this, uh, they, they do a machine to work the uh, uh -huh. il grano, what is it, a molino. Uh -huh. Like a mill, okay. Yeah. Wow. It's nice. It's really nice, huh? Uh, you can see inside, it's a, a piece of the river, it's just the, the dust of the... But you don't make a violin out of this one, huh? Ah, on, you, unfortunately <laughs> no, but uh, <laughs> it's the idea, why not? Uh-huh. Oh, this is very nice here, huh? I, I, I don't come too often actually here because I'm always so busy, but it's always a pleasure that we meet up. We usually yes. see us during our meetings of the consortium. Giorgio, I had told already that you are the president and you are giving a lot back to the whole year violin making community here in, in uh, Italy. And, uh, Ah, here, this is the office. I always like to show people the office so they know ah, when, yeah, this when is they my... receive an email from Yeah, Sojo. this is my okay. place. This, this is where, where people start to get in contact. They yeah, want to know yeah. who you are. Do you have experience? Yesterday I, I saw this jar from uh, Stefano from the varnish. Mm -hmm. If you see the varnish jar with all this varnish, just like from Stefano Konia. Yeah. It, it says more than any word. You don't have to talk anymore about experience huh? yeah. people are always it's afraid experience. is he going to make a good work you know because when we are going to make the fairs they don't see all this background all the dust all our yeah. effort we are putting yeah, the, and then I, I work just in front of my books you know it's the books uh -huh. George also wrote books about yeah. uh, Garimberti and uh, uh, made also booklets wow this is a nice library I thought I have already a uh, good, but I probably like two thirds of you. You have much more, I know, but more or less they're the same here. Okay, yeah, this is. I have two oh, libraries one oh, here, one here, in my this home. is nice. Here, the poster there was somebody asking yeah. me, they had this poster, and here you have Edgar Rus and Giorgio Grisales. It's the time when we, we were together, we yeah, together. I have only a small picture, and this is from 1997. And at those time, at those years, we were traveling a lot to Japan, and especially America, in Japan. In America. We did in America. Oh, Oops, we have a here? Per person here. Somebody is coming. Oh, somebody. The secretary of consortium. I don't know. Yes. Oh, good. This is Barbara. This is Barbara. Huh? But I, I, I had to show you something nice. Look yes. at there, maybe here. Look oh. at this, this photo. Oh, I, I take the look at the photo oh. and you go to Barbara. This is a nice picture. This is a nice picture. Can you see here? This is me in the middle, Giorgio on the right side. And then also Min, she's working and she's a business like partner of mine. And the Japanese guy is Hiroshi Hirakawa. I guess he's going to look at all these videos oh, here. Uh, that was a few years ago, huh? that was like in 2004, maybe 2003, something like this. Interesting, huh? And time was good to Very us. Very nice. Ciao, Barbara. Barbara is a nice person. She worked for the consortium. Barbara is our secretary of the Violin Making Consortium. Okay, morning. Which we just say like this because we are without mask because, huh? but this is a good. She have a baby in the, in the a few months. Yes, she we have a new person in Italy. We have a new violin maker is going to yeah. be born here, right? Oh, violin. <laughs> you can say, bye. 
<laughs> okay. Bye ciao, bye. Ciao. Thank bye you. Bye. See you. Bye. Take care. Bye bye. Ah, oh, this is nice. We yeah. Have like 15 people watching. The, yesterday, the people in Mexico waking up at Ooh. four o'clock in the morning just four to stay tuned to be live with my channel. Okay. Maybe they are still there. Hola, hola to hola, everybody hola. in Mexico. Yes. <laughs> so come, this is my shop. Wow. wow. Yeah, we just system after the the, the, after uh, the lockdown. Lockdown, we just resist in the workshop because wow. we have a Every lot. Every time I get into this room, I have the impression that it's getting smaller and smaller. Smaller, smaller because <laughs> so many instruments. Oh my God. This is just you remember in, in the beginning you have your work, your bank work here. Yes. And I have my room, here. In this room we had the yeah. workshop, right? Because in the next room there were this fridge from the the guy who was selling chicken, right? Yeah. No, maybe horses. No, 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 no. chicken. chicken. Poleria, poleria. Ah, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is just something. And so we are, oh, yes, it's, it's so many just instruments, yeah. So nice here, huh? Wow, so many instruments. Yeah, we, because now we are in the process to, to change everything, and I just deposit the violins there. We made the inventory, and wow. Okay. And these two double bars we have to finish and send to Beijing, but now it's a problem. Okay. So you have a, a few cellos. And this is a French cello from the 18th century. Uh -huh. Giorgio likes a lot of uh, antique instruments and you yeah. also wrote some books and you're quite an expert on uh, instruments. In, yeah, in, especially in Milan school. Uh -huh. Milan, okay. This is important. Uh, but also in, in so some, some violins also from Napoli. Look at there, this is Postiglione. Postiglione. Napoli. Can I see here? I think around uh, 19... 15, 19, 20, something like that. Uh -huh. Maybe beginning, but uh, because the label is not original, of course. The label is like a Galliano. But it's wow. a nice violin. This is a nice sign how you should not treat the <laughs> yes. bow in your case. Because this is usually when you have the bow yeah. uh, jumping around in your case, then this is what's going to. If you would antique an instrument when you make a copy, you would never do it like this. But yeah. real instruments have some. But isn't it dangerous to put the instruments like this? Is this something good? Oh. How, how is this? You can discover. Oh, this one is a real Giorgio Grisales. No, no, this is old teacher. No, Konya. Yes. Wow, I immediately... It's the copy of Stradivarius, made okay. by our teacher, Konya. I was already thinking that I want to exchange one of my violins with one of Stefano. I have to ask him because... Uh, it's special made for me in the really? 2016, yes. Wow, so you have already... In the label he write is for the Grisales family. This is something nice. Isn't that nice? Huh? This is Stefano Konya now. He, he was not now in, in, in Beijing, Stefano Konya. This is really nice. Huh? I think this is something... And here he has written something. Costruito per la famiglia Grisales. Oh, this is really something nice. And then with these fancy pegs. And really... Konya is also a nice guy. Really yeah, nice. Because I have a small collection. Of, I have also mm. one Morassi, but it's not here. Uh, this is one of my violins. One of your violins. This is always nice, huh? Yes. Wow. Uh huh. Yeah. If I look at the at the scroll, at the eye of the scroll, immediately I can see you. And then the varnish. The the wood preparation. You wouldn't expect how. Interesting it is, you give the same varnished jar, a jar to one maker and to another one and the result is completely different, you know. So everybody is making his things in his own style and uh, well, this is really nice. Nice. Okay, one string chopped down but even the, the tailpiece here personalized, you know, wow. This is something. Very nice. Yeah, that's good. And something Giorgio is really good in, and I, I actually I, I have to uh, 
admit that I learned how to put the purfling strat style. He is really good in putting purfling inside. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is something. Yeah. This Look is, at that. They, he can last for one hour on one corner. You know. Yes. This is something. Now it's it's on the video. It's always difficult to show, but uh, it's uh, something you you take a lot of care. Purfling is purfling uh, is is something very particular because you can understand who made the instruments mm -hmm. just from the performance performance you okay. know the corners yeah who made very famous cremonese maker this yes new cremonese style this is francesco bisolotti wow even you, also the ah. Daniele has a Francesco Bisolotti. Wow, huh? you all were brave. You were thinking about how things are proceeding. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is nice. Yeah, the top is fantastic. No? The, I think the top coming from our friend uh, Rudolf Bachmann. Uh -huh. Look Ooh. at there, this is very flamed now. Maschiatura, we call But it's nice, uh -huh. very nice one. Why well, I have many instruments here. I have something uh, very. I have my passion. Let me. My passion. Where is my passion? Around here. Oh, this is something special. <laughs> I can see it from far away. Uh huh. Wow. What is this? This is like a, a Garimberti. Exactly. Huh? Okay. Garimberti, 1963. Oh, okay. So it's I the see, same age like me. Even with the right distance, I can see very yes. well <laughs> the instruments. Okay, this is nice. And Giorgio even wrote a book about this uh, maker, yeah. Garimberti. You're Garimberti. selling it, you send it worldwide. If somebody wants the book, you send yeah, it. Yeah, now it's finished. It's finished already? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And we don't reprint it. But no? No. How many books did you print? 1,000, 2,000? 2,000. 2,000, all sold already? Oh, yeah, oh, all wow. sold out. Oh, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy to have a, a signed copy from you. We have a few copies of Ornati, but uh, uh -huh. basically the, all the books is sold out. Oh, can I just see here, I show them how this book is here. So if people find the Garimberti book on an auction, they definitely have to buy it. For how much did you sell the Garimberti book? I don't know. Actually, people can find the book in Tarisi option. Ah, Tarisio, but, but you sold it like for 200 euros, 300? Yes, around 300 euros. So, yeah. Something, uh -huh. you can imagine, huh? And so that's how somebody becomes also a, an expert. This is one so of my cellos. If you have a Garimberti or Ornati, you certainly have to go this to... This is one of my cellos. Room. No, sorry. Uh -huh. This is... You can understand who made this cello. Oh, no. Il nonno. Yes, yes. Corsini, Mr. Carlo Corsini. Corsini. We went together, Carlo Corsini was already my retired. Mm -hmm. And then he started to make a lot of basses and cellos. And we went together, this old man and two youngsters of us, we went to Japan at that time. This that is my father-in-law. Yes, father-in-law of Giorgio. So this is my passion, Garimberti. Uh -huh, I can imagine. Yeah. It's a nice passion. Uh, nice passion, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe something more here. Oh. Oh. This is Ornati? No. No? What? Sorry. I'm... This is a fantastic Poggi violin. A Poggi. Wow. It's made in 19, uh, ta -ta -ta, 1942. The owner is a very good friend of mine. Uh -huh. But the violin is fantastic. Look at that. Super nice. Uh -huh. Actually, I made a copy of this violin. But it's very, very near to the work of, of, of uh, my work or the work of uh, Garimberti. You know, anyhow, you can understand this is the, uh, in, the, in the beginning and the middle of 19th century uh -huh. in the violin makers so, in Italy. Super nice wood also. Huh? Yeah, he always have a good, good wood. Very nice one. So I have a lot of instruments here. This is great. I, this yeah, is uh, yeah, French cello. Oh. We, we, we cannot go through all the instruments. Yeah, it's absolutely. This is now already 20 minutes. We want also to see wow. a little bit from the workshop and things like this. But, but you can see this one. But if, if somebody, if, if what, this one? You can see this one. I can see everything, but it's, uh, show me. Okay. <clears throat> 
What is it? What is it? Uh, it is somehow comes familiar to me, but turn it. It's made in around 1686, 1690, something like 1680, that. 1680, 1686. Yeah, something like that. Look at the scroll. Wow. It, it looks familiar, but I, I don't want to say now something and then I'm, I, you know, people are saying, hey, Edgar. This is, this is my love too. This is my love too. Okay, wow. This is a cello made from the father of Guarneri del Gesù. Wow! This, the, we call Filius Andrea. Filius Andrea. Yes. Joseph Filius Andrea. This is something. This is something good. So you have a, 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 a guard here overnight. We have a, 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 good, uh, a good alarm <laughs> and uh, good insurance and everything. This is a nice one. Wow! We found this cello, I found this cello in uh, Rome uh -huh. and played for a long time, very long time, with a player from the I Musici from Italy, very famous orchestra, and go around the world, uh -huh. yeah. Wow. And then uh, we bought the cello and now it's re we already repair, it's repair, repair from the egg blood shop. Uh -huh. And what kind of wood is it, the back? This is May, uh, poplar. Poplar, okay. Poplar, yeah. Okay. Yeah, just the, this is my poplar. The scroll is fantastic. It's just here because I have a customer today who likes it. Uh -huh. It's a nice one. Very nice one. This is really nice. There's uh, a lot of instruments. Oh my gosh, just one. Uh, this very nice one. Yeah, double basses and uh, look at there. This is perhaps is a. Uh, Pietro Guarnieri di Mantova. Pietro Guarnieri di Mantova, okay. So this is violin, uh, the owner before a long time ago is Elmer Oliveira. And I told him here for certification and here, yeah, made something. No. Nice violin. But we have a lot, we can stop here. We, have, we can, we can make here hours, you know. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> this is, is, is nice. Uh, maybe the guitar. It's not in great condition, but look at there. It's original one made from Gaetano Guadagnini. Wow. It's quite Guitar nice. From so. Guadagnini. Unfortunately, the back, I think, is not original, but ribs, top, and all, all. The back is not original? I think so. Maybe somebody's changed. Really? But, okay. It's a nice it's guitar, huh? And uh, this, this is also a beautiful one. This is Renato Fabricatore. Renato Fabricatore, okay. Very famous. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Napoli. Wow, uh, they really did a lot of... Uh, this is wood? Yeah. Yeah, that's wood. Okay. Wood, wood. Wow, nice. Huh? Fabricatore. Renato Fabricatore. Oh, some things. You can see this, this is cello. It's one, this is... Uh, you know, maybe the owner is uh, Marco Mauro Moruzzi. Oh, he just played this morning in my workshop and I said, and today we are going to visit the maker of uh -huh. the cello. Yeah, look at that. This is Garimberti uh -huh. copy, one piece uh -huh. back. But Marco is playing on your cello. Marco played my cello, but actually I had to repair here. He, he made okay. some damage here. But he told me that I have to say um, hello from him. Yeah, huh? thank you. <laughs> he played uh, for 10 minutes a few cellos in my workshop today. Uh -huh. And uh, he's a nice yeah, guy. It's a, yeah, nice guy. It is an original model from Garimberti. Wow, well, that's back, huh? No, he showed up with this instrument, uh, I believe, a few years ago. And I listened to it and I just said, wow. Compliments to Giorgio. And the scroll. Uh -huh. No, it's very nice, very nice. Mm -hmm. This is a model, it's later Garin Garimberti. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay, yeah. but you come in my workshop. Yeah, I uh, don't want to make it too long. We have already 24 minutes we made already. Oh. But uh, it, it's just uh, a, a nice, you know, we, we can see the passion of everybody. Oh, oh ciao Riccardo. Ciao. ciao. Uh, 
This is Ricardo. He is the nephew from uh, uh, Giorgio and he is already here for the past 20 years. 20 maybe. years. Has a nice family. Quattro o cinque figli? Ah, four. four kids. I said before five. Sorry. <laughs> Ciao. Um, non mi ricordo come ti chiami. Really? Chi è lui? Maybe? Non lo so. Il bambino della serie? Sì. sì. Andrea. Andrea. No. Wow, this wow, is the son Mr. of Giorgio. <laughs> Togliete. Wow, you. this is the son of Giorgio. I, did, I, I didn't imagine. Eh, wow, my lui God. Lui. Wow. So sì. you were here Togliete all together. At the time we worked together, we first worked in the other room. We, we, uh, Giorgio showed me the instruments. And then we worked in this room here. And Pablo Sacco at that time. Yes. Pablo and... Sacco then went to Japan. And now I think he's in Argentina, but has also a company here in, in Cremona, but I don't know exactly. I think so, he has also. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, and where Ricardo is sitting, I was working. And then uh, over there, there was uh, Pablo Sacco. And on this working bench, always me. at the time, always, always Giorgio, me with the Giorgio same bank. himself, you know. And now I made a copy of uh, Garimberti Cello. Yeah. Uh -huh. With this wood. Oh, nice. So during the lockdown, you were working at your house at home? We, yeah, uh, we were in the you? home. Yeah, yeah. we oh, were in nice. the home and then and, um, we coming back and clean everything here. Really? And, uh, I can tell everything. it's everything so nice. I, we, we also tried to clean, but we, we didn't proceed so nice. You did a really good job here. It's everything. Yeah? This is, this I, is I, really I also nice. study this violin in this moment. It's perhaps it's present that. Uh, I don't know who made the instruments, who made the, the, the idea about the, the maker who made the instruments. But anyhow, it's always difficult to understand. This is my book. Uh, this is the Garimberti book. Ah, this is the Garimberti book. Are you thinking about how to reduce the corner for me, the copy? Uh -huh. Okay, we are back again. Sorry, we had a small <laughs> connection problem, but YouTube is uh, working later on to connect things. And t uh, tomorrow you will see all nicely together. Ah, you have even a video uh, controlling system. Okay, because I was oh, already have, wondering yeah. how you can <laughs> have so many precious things in a workshop. And this is like a, we're like here in a, in a big safe, right? We are very safe uh -huh. because all, all, also we are in downtown. How the rover can escape from here? Impossible. Ah, okay. From Cremona. <laughs> it's, it's a labyrinth. Uh, they cannot escape. Okay. But you know, this is always nice here. Now the lamp is just in front. Uh, this is nice here. It, it's interesting. I came here after many years and then it uh, feels like familiar that. Yeah, the because it is before it's your place here, no? Uh -huh. Nice, and the wood is there, and well, we have a lot of wood. We, it's so difficult to st stock the wood, and it, it, the houses fall. My, uh, <laughs> you are you're uh, a collector. Uh, I can uh, tell. Uh, okay. Yeah, huh? So many. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm now. I, I, I was collecting more and more, and now I have pleasure to own less and less. Okay, so uh, yeah. my wife helps me to. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> to, yes. To throw a little bit away. Okay. Uh, this is just but interesting. The problem is, uh, yeah, you can uh, trust the wood because it's, uh, you know, wood is something nice. Yeah. This is the show. We, 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 here, I, I hear some. Mm. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, back again. Okay. Yeah, in the beginning, the, the violin medkits have to. And the, the, uh -huh, wood turning. The, Pegs and oh yeah, is this true? You know, but it's really difficult to make the pegs, right? Oh, if you have sense to turn, you can do. Uh -huh. It's nice. We we learn in the school how to make the the really? pegs. Yes, uh, I, I my teacher I, have a passion, Giorgio Che. We do, we do. Ah, you were you a pupil from uh, Giorgio yeah. Che? Yeah. Wow, he passed away already. Oh my God. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, that's interesting. I never did this. This is something I. But I, this, I look at the look at the tools. It's quite different, this tool. Wow, how they are from, long. From uh, wow. the violin yeah. maker's tools. It's another way. Uh -huh. Anyhow, this is the bench for for banks for uh, double bus. Uh -huh. We made double bus. I prefer to stay here because okay. I, I, otherwise I don't have the connection. So okay. okay. Ju we just look to the back side. This is, means that this is the varnishing room. I can see the UV box. You have some instruments inside, but I prefer that we stay tuned. Not much. 
I, more or less, we have also, I think we have said already, this is, is from your family? No. No. no okay. She works for us. Um, more or less, we have person. said already everything, and I will put down below in the description all your contacts, how people can reach you. And I, I believe you make it like all the makers, uh, people write you and then you send a list of what you have ready. Yes. If you want to make yes, a custom yes, made yes, yes, instrument. Yes, yes. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, this is the, the way how we are working and we, we make the instruments. We have special shipping boxes to send the instruments uh, worldwide world. and they arrive safe so people don't have to be uh, afraid. And, and this is right? the speciality of Cremona. I know, I know my friend and they are coming and I didn't I didn't want to show people because I thought don't show it and then we just have a little bit of salami and provolone from Auricchio. Ah. And then you need see here you have even the, the violin signed. Isn't this nice? This is just this is Giorgio, you know. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, we always I'm so sorry that I cannot transmit the taste of the salami and of this provolone picante, but this is the way it is. It's for aperitivo. 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 In and Italian, is it's a tradition. After right? breakfast, this is the right time, right? Uh, at 11. Maybe when we finish. Uh -huh. uh, oh, <laughs> no, no, we are no, no. Already at 11 o'clock, I'm already at, at Andre Schultz. So okay. we have to, to quit here, I think. Okay. But I think this was a very nice transmission here. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's always a pleasure to be here with you. It's my pleasure right? too. Uh, we make it a little bit like this. And oh. I would say, uh, live from Giorgio, very nice. Okay, stay tuned. And in a few minutes, in half an hour, I will transmit from Andre Schutz, uh, violin workshop. Okay, keep in touch. Ciao, ciao. Bye bye. Ciao, bye bye. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. ciao.